design. He hopes to attend Massachusetts Institution Technology to advance in cutting edge te technology. He attends workshops and conferences to learn how to integrate technology to collaborate on projects in school and online. Good morning, Mike. group of people tonight. Well, good evening everyone. I'm Rasha Taylor III, an eighth grade student at Curtis Smith Middle School. I will be speaking to you tonight about the relationships between video game design and robotics. Now the three areas I want to cover tonight will come will be number one, number one, recreational use, number two, flight training, and number three, medical operations. Now, I know you're thinking, what in the world does Bill Gates have to do with medical operations? Well, it's my goal to help you understand this by the time I am done speaking. So, of course, most people are used to using video games for entertainment, but maybe it never occurred to you how robotics has also helped make this experience become more alive, so to speak. We are now feeling our video games. Every punch in a boxing game, every tackle in a football game, and even the feel of an earthquake in the movie portion of the game. This is just the beginning of what may one day be a full mind and body experience as virtual reality games advance over time. Now the programming must be right for these games so that the game receives the physical feedback that matches what they see on the screen. The motors inside the controller are really just like little robots doing what they are told to do from the program. Has anybody ever played an Xbox or PlayStation game? Okay, so you know how, let's say, you get hit or whatever, or lose health or whatever. You know how your, your video game controller will like vibrate? Okay, well, inside, inside the controller, there's a motor and it spins around and spins around and that's, it's really a robot. Excuse me, you know, I, I don't have a PowerPoint and I'm up here with a paper. Which <laughs> leads me to my next relationship between robotics and video games, flight training. So I know I do not have any experience with flight simulators, flight training, but I do understand, I do understand visual effects as well as how the aircraft reacts to the pilot's input is a direct relationship between robotics and video game like programming. The technologies not only help us train the world's best pilots, create artificial environments that feel real, but if anything goes wrong, pilot lives, he keeps his life, and the machine still works. We don't, we don't, we don't have to deal with the, with the actual real life damage. Thing. All right, and finally, so you may understand the un the relationship between robotics and medical operations, but again. What in the world does this video games have to do with medical operations? Recently, I came across a video game called Surgeon Simulator Experience Reality. It's a game where it's a it's a game where you perform on the patient. Uh, you are the doctor, and you perform this <coughs> surgery. Now, this game will help. In my opinion, this game will help medical students who want to be a surgeon. They can play this game, perform minor surgeries hundreds and hundreds of times so that they'll get better at it. I mean, we don't want to we don't want them to perform a real life surgery the first time and make and making the life changing mistake like I don't know, something horrible. <laughs> Anyway, the relationship that video games have with us are mainly visual. 
on the other hand, the relationships that we brought, that robots have with us are more tactile, or more physical. Bringing both of these together, we can do a lot, like make a whole reality. I would like to end in a question to our digital leaders of tomorrow. What new technology are you bringing to us for tomorrow? That's my time. Thank you.